Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is another episode of the Standard Commentary Series. So, a second turn, Hanger Backwalker for one, followed up by Retreat to Kazandu. And it looks like he's playing Mono Green. So, some kind of a ramp deck. This guy, Sidisi. Brood Tyrant. He hits a Rattleclaw Mystic to get the zombie token. What is our mono green friend playing? Is the retreat just uh, an added bonus for your standard mono green ramp? Or is he doing a build specifically to do stuff like this, where he gets to buff up the walker for free? He's playing green and white, not mono green. Explosive vegetation. Wow. This is going to be one big walker real fast. Luckily for the other guy, he is playing black and white, so he should have options to be able to get rid of the walker without giving him the tokens. Utter End, Stasis Snare, things like that. Or at the very worst, he can nuke it with, you know, any number of mono black kill cards. Oh, Chump Blocking with Sidisi. Sidisi dies, Hangerback Walker dies. And he gets the 311 tokens. He's got one heck of a graveyard building up. He can delve for a ton of stuff. He can straight up dig through time for two blue mana at this point. What's he going for? Bring to light. Five colors. So what's he going to grab? Grabs Languish. Well, that was a quick and easy way of uh, getting rid of everything on the board. And Shrine of the Forsaken Gods gains two life. This is Renewal. Ooh, wow. It's going to gain 13 life. What's he up to? 5, 9, 10, or 11. So he's got all the mana he needs. He can play Ugin, Ulamog. Uh, let's see. There's one deck that I saw that plays Desolation Twin. Uh, scout the Borders. Reveal the top five cards of your library. You may put a creature or land from among them into your hand and the rest in the graveyard. He revealed Necromantic Summons, Green Warden of Marasa, Cinderglade, Rattleclaw Mystic, and Sidisi. And he kept. Oh, he kept the uh, Green Warden of Marasa. And the damn thing put those cards on the bottom did it again. That should not happen. Another Nissus Renewal for another 13 life and 3 land. And he's got two Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. How many more lands does he have in his deck? Let's see, he's got 8, 12, 13, 14, 15 lands that he's played so far. Let's 
this? Green Warden of Marasa. Probably bring to light. Yep, grabs bring to light. It was either that or Necromantic Summons. Planar Outburst with Awaken. Is he going to re remove it? It's an interesting choice. I mean... There's only a couple of things worthwhile in his graveyard right now. Necromantic Summons wouldn't be bad, but he could only get Sidisi back. He could get Languish. Uh, he could get Sidisi. I don't really see a point in getting Rattleclaw Mystic back. That doesn't work. Or was there a second Green Warden in this graveyard that I didn't see? Warden of Marasa dies, you may exile it if you do return target creature. Okay, so he chose to leave the Green Warden. Which, he has ways of getting it back. Bring the light for four. Get Siege Rhino. Bring him back up to 13, and he'll have a blocker to deal with the 4 4. He's going to have a hard time knocking this guy's life total down, unless the ramp deck keeps missing the big stuff. You know, if he whiffs on drawing Ugin or Ulamog for too long, the Bring to Light deck should be able to overcome. Planar Outburst with Awaken. Though he did it to a shrine, interesting. Gets in for eight, takes him down to five. And retreat to Emeria. Okay, so he has to kill both creatures because with the combination of retreats, one of those creatures is enough to kill him. And bring to light for four, probably languish. the easiest way to get rid of both of those creatures. No, he grabs Sidisi? And he hits a Sidisi. So he gets zombies. Gather the pack. He's fetching. He has the possibility of four mana to deal, to do with on this next turn. But what he's really ha- oh, he's going with the fetch now. But what he has to pray for right here is that he doesn't hit Ulamog. Or Ugin. Planar Outburst. I think that's the game. What does he got? 
shambling vents. Oh, that's right. Combat damage does happen at the same time. So he'll block four and gain two at the same time as he takes four. So it should leave him at one life. Or, no. Those are stacks. Never mind. Uh. Hmm. I have to admit, you know, he had a lot of mana and he was able to bring to light a couple of times. And, you know, with all the things that you can search for with bring to light, you would think that he would have had the tools he needed to take this guy down. But then again, you can't really account for three planar outbursts with Awaken. But this video is pretty long, so I'm going to end it here. That was 5C Bring to Light versus Selesnia Ramp, is what I'm going to call it. So, if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I'll see you in the next video.